Hi everyone, it's Teresa with this week's Angel Reading, and this week the card is Ascension. And I'm so excited to bring this card to us because I feel like it's a very positive message when a lot of people are feeling otherwise. So the angels want to remind us that we've been in the Ascension process for some time now, and we've actually been in the pregnancy part of the Ascension process. So they want us to look at this as a birth. And the pregnancy part of the Ascension process is when you're expectant and you know that a beautiful thing is on the way and there are side effects, but you know that at the end of this road, there is something really, really beautiful. So the side effects are worth it. You you can get through them, you can find the support you need to get through them. So that's the part we've been in. We are now in the birthing process. Birth is never a really pleasant experience for the one being birthed or for the person giving birth. So that's what they want us to realize is this is where we are right now and the labor pains and all of the things that come with birth are present on this planet. And you know, the earth is showing us its own labor pains because as we are ascending the earth is ascending and the earth is going to ascend whether we decide to go with it or not so there are so many people right now that are fighting the ascension process that are sort of unwilling to go and step into the unknown so they're grasping on to the old ideals and they're just not working anymore and we've seen this over and over so what the angels want us to do at this point in time is continue our communication not just with the people who view things the way we do but with the people who and especially with the people who don't view things the way we do and in order to do this we need to get to a place where we genuinely desire to understand where they're coming from, to understand their experiences that have brought them to this place of belief and outlook. And in these forms of communication, when we remain open and when we are able to hear the experience of another, and hopefully they are also able to in turn hear our experience, that is when, when almost there's a blank slate between us and we can genuinely hear the other people, that is when new solutions can present themselves. So we may, if we already have a preconceived notion of how we think things should be and we're listening to another person with that preconceived notion, there's a part of us that's blocked off to solutions that could come that have previously not been tried or have not been existing. So when we listen with openness, then all of a sudden it would be like, well, this was your experience, it wasn't mine, and huh, I didn't realize that. So now from that place of openness, how can we create a solution? What is the solution that has never been created before in order to bring about peace and resolution? And this communication that we know is part of this ascension process now is the key to establishing peace. Peace within us and peace within the whole, the collective, the world. Because in order to listen to somebody from a place of emptiness, from a place of non-judgment, we need to get ourselves completely centered, be fully present and listen. And even if we disagree, when we're listening to someone else's experience, we can't invalidate that experience. But we can then talk about how we perceive what can be done about it. And I'm really excited about the comments that will be coming in on this video based on your own experiences with this, because this is a very difficult place and has been a very difficult place for us to get to. But it is the next phase in our evolution and it is the next phase in the ascension process. And so I am overjoyed to remind you this week from the angels that we are still in the ascension process. And this is the birth part. We are giving birth to the new paradigm. And that is why things have been so painful for so many of us is because we are actually feeling the labor pains of this new paradigm. So I wish that you all go this week, go forward with angel blessings and take this message out to the world. And please leave a comment letting us know what resonated for you in this video. There's also a free call this week, an angel hour, and it's an hour of transformation where the angels will channel and answer your questions through me. So please click the link below in the comment section if you are interested in participating in that. It's completely free and you'll be with other lightworkers, other 
other angel lovers, other angel people from all over the world. So I look forward to seeing you there. And until next time, have a beautiful week, everyone. Goodbye.